Hello everyone and welcome in. I'm Echohack and this is The Barbarian Guide for Season 1. First, a couple of quick notes about the guide itself. This guide is up to date for the launch of the game, so you can be sure that you're prepared for the Diablo Immortal launch. You can find the written version of the guide at immortal.maxroll.gg. Rob is the main author of the written guide, so all of the recommendations you'll find here are theirs. We'll also keep you up to date as we discover new information about the game before and after launch. A new video guide will also be posted for Season 2, so make sure you're subscribed for that. This guide is separated by chapters, so look below and click ahead to the part that you need. Now, let's head straight into the Demonic Hordes with this guide. Barbarians have the ability to wipe out hordes of enemies with area of effect attacks that make them a great choice for leveling and for farming. The Barbarian is an aggressive class that is constantly getting up close and personal to deliver devastating attacks. Arguably the king of melee combat, you're in the heat of battle most times, whether you're fighting off swarms of enemies alone or leading your team into battle. You have many different skills that have crowd control effects allowing you to endlessly pen down enemies. On top of being a solo powerhouse, the Barbarian harnesses some of the best group buffs in the game once you find the correct legendary items, making it an essential part of any group endeavors. Barbarians are one of the fastest characters in the game, and when using the right legendary item, they can give that speed to their teammates as well. On top of being insanely fast, they're also impressively strong and rip through any content the game has to offer. Being able to deal massive AoE damage as well as to put out huge damage numbers makes them one of the most formidable characters for PvE and PvP content alike. If this was not enough, the Barbarian gives all teammates 25% increased damage while using Battlemaster's Helm with Demoralize, making them an excellent choice for any group activities. All great things must have a downside and for the Barbarian, it is simple. Monsters and opponents in PvP can hit very hard. You need to get close to them to do what the Barbarian is good at, and with this can come great risk. When content gets harder and as you climb the ranks of challenge rifts, you'll also feel a considerable need to focus on your defense. The Barbarian can be dependent on its ability to burst down enemies quickly, especially in PvP. Sadly, these high damage and high mobility skills have longer cooldowns. So, when enemies keep trickling into the fight or try to escape, the Barbarian can quickly run out of options. What to expect as a Barbarian? High AoE damage, a fast melee playstyle, immense threat in PvP, many crowd control options, and several amazing group buffs. As for weaknesses, they take damage constantly, have low single target damage, often reliant on long cooldowns, melee can fall off in difficult content, and equips multiple buffs for group play. Let's talk about getting your Barbarian started. First, you'll want to find better equipment for your character. Your bag will flash when you pick up better equipment. Turn on auto pickup for all item types and settings and periodically return to town to salvage. Unlike Whirlwind and Sprint by level 15, claim the Battle Pass legendary item. This gives you an early legendary item that increases your character's power significantly. Choose wisely. Hunt legendary items. Keep an eye out for the Remembered specifically. It's one of the strongest items Barbarian has. Find normal gems and legendary gems. Hidden layers have a chance to drop normal gems, and if you use a crest, Elder Rifts have a chance to drop legendary gems. Unlock the Heliquary at level 41. Try to unlock the Heliquary as soon as you can, so you will always receive Scoria from your daily Battle Pass quest. All right, now let's jump into the heart of this video, the builds. First up, we have Spin to Win. This is our solo Barbarian build. This build allows you to shred through hordes of enemies without ever having to slow down. While solo, the faster your Barbarian is, the more rewarding your playtime will be. Luckily, the Barbarian is no stranger to going fast and won't have any issues staying strong while doing so. The speed of Sprint, combined with the mobile damage from Whirlwind, allows you to shred through hordes of enemies without ever having to slow down. This build can even be played without any legendary items, allowing you to collect all the items you need while still being effective. Let's get into it and learn how to spin to win. First, let's take a look at the skills. For our primary skill, we have Lacerate. This deals significant single target damage and it heals you. Use this on any tough elites that survive your initial onslaught. Next, we have Sprint. This is crucial since speed is everything for farming. Second Breath, combined with its Awakening, 
and benefit effect duration secondary stats can guarantee permanent sprint uptime for insane movement speed. Whirlwind is your main skill for damage. The Tempest and the Gathering buff it even further. Wrath of the Berserker is a great buff for more attack and movement speed. Attack speed increases with your whirlwind speed, which in turn boosts your DPS. The coming storm decreases its cooldown for higher uptime. Hammer of the Ancients is great when you have the Remembered. Otherwise, use Furious Charge. The Spirit of the Ancients constantly hits enemies, which helps with single target DPS and keeping your Massacre bonuses. Now let's look at the Legendary items. For our head slot, we have Second Breath. Sprint duration increased by 30%. For shoulders, we have The Coming Storm. Wrath of the Berserker cooldown reduced by 15%. For our main hand, we have The Tempest. Whirlwind radius increased, but Whirlwind movement speed reduced. For our chest, we have The Gathering. Whirlwind pulls in all enemies it damages. For our leg slot, use any legendary item you choose. For our offhand, we have The Remembered. Hammer of the Ancients now summons a Spirit of the Ancients, who stuns all nearby enemies and then fights beside you for a while. Barbarian gameplay is pretty straightforward. Two of your skills buff your speed and damage, while the other three deal damage. Here's the rotation. First, activate your Spirit of the Ancients by casting Hammer of the Ancients to deal extra DPS and keep your Massacre bonus. During bounties, this sprint also helps to distract approaching monsters while you finish an objective without being interrupted. Cast Sprint whenever it's up. When you come across packs of enemies, use Whirlwind to gather them up and disperse them quickly. Keep in mind that Whirlwind with the Tempest slows you down, so only use it to get kills and then go back to running. Activate Wrath of the Berserker whenever you engage elites and bosses. Now let's take a look at our group build, Spin and Buff. Spin and Buff buffs the team with Sprint and the War Cry from Demoralize while maximizing your DPS. The rest of your skills are for AoE and single target damage, so you can blitz through content as a team. Let's take a look at our skills. First, for our primary attack, we have Lacerate. This hits hard on a single target and heals you a bit as well. Use this on any tough elites you come across that survive your initial onslaught. Sprint. Combining this with Swiftwing gives the buff to all allies that are nearby. Whirlwind. Your primary source of AoE damage as a Barbarian. Great for killing trash while st staying mobile. Wrath of the Berserker. Gives extra damage and speed. Great when farming in the open world or doing any areas that require a lot of movement. Demoralize. This skill, matched with the Battlemaster's Helm, gives everyone in a party 25% damage buff. Save it for when you get to bosses and elites. Now let's take a look at the legendary items. For our head slot, we have Battlemaster's Helm. Demoralize is replaced with a war cry that increases all damage you and nearby allies inflict by 25% for 6 seconds. For our shoulder slot, we have the Coming Storm. Wrath of the Berserker cooldown is reduced by 15%. For our main hand, we have the Tempest. Whirlwind radius increased, but the Whirlwind movement speed is reduced. For our chest, we have The Gathering. Whirlwind pulls in all enemies it damages. For our leg slot, we have Swiftwing. Sprint now also increases movement speed of other nearby allies. For our offhand, we have Fear Hammer. Demoralized duration increased by 30%. Now let's talk about gameplay. Gameplay here is similar to other builds, but you need to give your teammates Sprint and Warcry from Demoralize. This makes you feel less active on your character, but the bonuses for the team are well worth the sacrifice. First of all, always keep Sprint up on your team. Save Demoralize for bosses and elites so your team has the 25% damage buff when it counts. Use Whirlwind to kill lesser enemies and Lacerate on bosses and elites. Now let's take a look at our raid build, Wild Frenzy. Wild Frenzy enables you to fight difficult bosses from the Heliquary, Path of Blood, and Kion's Ordeal. These bosses tend to hit extremely hard and test your ability to survive as you chip away at them. With this in mind, set your Barbarian up more defensively so you're not in the dirt right away. First of all, for our skills, Frenzy, this is our primary attack. This hits hard on a single target and increases your attack speed. Use this on any tough elites you come across and on any Rift Guardians. Next up, we have Undying Rage. Use this against bosses to survive raid wipe mechanics and to heal up without spending health potion charges. Demoralize. This skill, matched with the Battlemaster's Helm, gives everyone in the party a 25% damage buff. Communicate the timing of this strong buff with your teammates when playing in a group. Wrath of the Berserker. This is a great buff to increase your attack speed significantly. Emmer of the Ancients. The Spirit of the Ancients helps you out greatly with single target DPS and can take hits for you. Now let's take a look at our legendary items. For our head slot, we have Battlemaster's Helm. Demoralize is replaced with a war cry that increases all damage that you and nearby allies inflict by 25% for 6 seconds. For, sh for our shoulder slot, we have the Coming Storm. Wrath of the Berserker cooldown is reduced by 15%. For our main hand, we have Stonefall. Hammer of the Ancient's damage is increased by 10%. For our chest slot, we have Davin's Legacy. 
Hammer of the Ancients' maximum charges increased by one. For our leg slot, use Determination. Furious Charge can now be charged up to increase its range and damage. And for our offhand, we have the Remembered. Hammer of the Ancients now summons a Spirit of the Ancients who stum stuns all nearby enemies and then fights for you for a while. Now let's take a look at our gameplay. First of all, you'll want to cast Hammer of the Ancients on the boss to get both Spirit of the Ancients. Activate Wrath of the Berserker and Demoralize and Frenzy non-stop while keeping your buffs up. If Undying Rage procs, make sure to continue to Frenzy to gain your health back. Run around evading attacks while you wait for Undying Rage to come back, and then repeat the process. In some boss fights, you can easily get most of your health back. If you try this and you find yourself not able to regain much health, play more defensively from the start. Try to use Undying Rage as an emergency escape instead of a way to do DPS for several extra seconds. Now let's look at our Challenge Rift build, Undying Barb. Challenge Rifts are all about being well-rounded so that your Barbarian can thrive from start to finish. Focusing too much on AoE damage results in painfully long boss fights, and without enough AoE, you'll never get to the boss in time. With the right combination of skills, you should be able to dominate throughout the entire rift. Let's take a look at the skills. For our primary attack, we have Frenzy. This hits hard on a single target and increases your attack speed. Use this on any tough elites that you come across and on the Rift Guardian. Undying Rage. If enough enemies are around, you can likely heal to full health while this is up, making you very hard to deal with. Whirlwind. This is your main skill for damage. Two items equipped give it a large radius and make it suck in enemies. Wrath of the Berserker. This is a great buff for solo play, giving you movement speed as well as critical hit chance with Broken Soul. Hammer of the Ancients. The Spirit of the Ancients helps with single target DPS and makes keeping your Massacre bonus an easy task as the Spirit constantly hits enemies. You can also use this to stun enemies. Now let's take a look at the legendary items. For our head slot, we have Lasting Hate. Wrath of the Berserker duration increased by 30%. For shoulders, we have the Coming Storm. Wrath of the Berserker cooldown reduced by 15%. For our main hand, we have the Tempest. Whirlwind radius increased, but Whirlwind movement speed reduced. For our chest slot, we have the Gathering. Whirlwind pulls in all enemies it damages. For our leg slot, use any legendary you choose. For our offhand, we have the Remembered. Hammer of the Ancients now summons a Spirit of the Ancients who stuns all nearby enemies and then fights besides you for a while. As for gameplay, start by gathering a group of enemies by moving around and tapping Whirlwind to pull them in. Send down your Spirit of the Ancients as a large pull to stun them. Now use Wrath of the Berserker and get close enough to start shredding them with Whirlwind. If Undying Rage procs, Use it to heal back to full HP and use potentially dropped health globes. As Whirlwind depletes, run out and send yourself straight through the pack. If needed, do it again and drag the damaged monsters along slowly while keeping them engaged. For the boss, try to keep one Spirit of the Ancients up at all times for a distraction and spam frenzy. If the boss spawns enemies, use Whirlwind to take them out. Activate Wrath of the Berserker as often as you can and synchronize it with Frenzy Ultimate to maximize your damage. Now let's take a look at our PvP build, Headbang. Headbang is a competitive PvP build focused on pulling enemies with Whirlwind and holding objectives. You're the tank for your team, so be careful not to venture too far ahead without support. Let's take a look at our skills. First, our primary attack is Frenzy. This is great for finishing off anyone who's still alive after you've run dry on Whirlwind or when in 1v1 combat. This hits very hard on single target, especially when the ultimate is up, as you can move while hitting hard. Sprint. This gives you insane speed, dodge, and immunity to crowd control all in one skill. This skill is an essential part of being unstoppable as a barbarian. Whirlwind. This is your primary source of damage, especially when there are multiple enemies around. The Gathering is without a doubt one of the most annoying skills for your opponents to deal with in the entire game. It constantly pulls them in and CCs them briefly. Never underestimate its power. Furious Charge. Use this to open up your targets with massive damage as well as knock them up with Screaming Fury. Undying Rage. If enough enemies are around, you can likely heal to full health while this is up, making you very hard to deal with. Now let's take a look at the legendary items. First for our head slot, we have Second Breath. Sprint duration increased by 30%. For shoulders, we have Broken Grasp. Sprint also increases your dodge chance by 20%. For our main hand, we have the Tempest. Whirlwind radius increased, but Whirlwind movement speed reduced. For our chest slot, we have the Gathering. Whirlwind pulls in all enemies it damages. For legs, we have Screaming Fury. Furious Charge now charges to a location, damaging all nearby enemies and knocking them up into the air. For offhand, you can use any legendary that you'd like. Now let's take a look at the set items. The best set for Barbarian is Grace of the Flagellant. This is, by far, 
the Barbarian's best PvE set. You can use Whirlwind as, you, as your main damage skill and deal loads of continual damage to enemies. For the three set item bonus, damage continually done is increased by 15%. For the six set item bonus, after dealing continual damage five times against an enemy, you'll deal additional damage. Now let's take a look at the starter legendary gems. Start your build with these easy to obtain one and two star legendary gems. First, our best gem for a Barbarian is the Trick Shot gem. This allows you to channel Whirlwind longer, especially when it's ranked up and awakened. Next is Everlasting Torment. This deals incredible damage over time after a critical hit. For a simple one star legendary gem, it packs a huge punch. Fervent Fang does fantastic single target damage. It can easily be acquired from the battle pass without relying on luck from crests. Berserker's Eye provides increased damage at the cost of taking more damage. This trade-off works well for any build. Lightning Core does direct damage to an enemy group, often wiping them out in the process. While its damage is infrequent, it's useful for taking down larger targets. Chain Death gives a solid da damage boost, especially in AoE situations. Now let's take a look at our best in slot legendary gems. Legendary gems provide incredible stat bonuses and unique effects. They are found as a reward after completing an Elder Rift that's enhanced with the legendary crest. Many of them are also crafted using runes and platinum at the Jeweler in Westmarch. Blood Soaked Jade is the best legendary gem in the game. It provides massive damage and movement speed, which is perfect for our spend to win Barbarian. Seeping Bile has a poison that is devastating in large densities, like Elder and Challenge Rifts. When shredding through enemies with Whirlwind, you'll get so many hits in quick succession that this gem will proc all over the place. Blessing of the Worthy is amazing because you're constantly in melee range of enemies. Any damage taken activates devastating damage every 15 seconds, obliterating anything nearby. Phoenix Ashes gives a cheat death that increases in effectiveness as you rank this gem up. There might be unpredictable interactions between this gem and Undying Rage, so we have to see how it performs with more testing. Frozen Heart provides great damage reduction versus ranged enemies. It's hard to beat percent percentage-based damage reduction, so take this gem. Chip of Stone Flesh has a chance to petrify a target and gives you a damage boost on top of it. This gem is mostly useful in high-level challenge rifts in PvP, but can still be used while solo farming for its high stat boost. Now let's take a look at every skill available for the Barbarian. This section is for your reference, so you can make your own builds. Skills are core to your character and the main way for your character to defend yourself and destroy enemies. Characters can equip five skills at once, including one primary attack and four skills. Primary attacks have no cooldown and fill your ultimate bar when used. When the ultimate bar is full, you can cast the ultimate ability. Skills automatically gain ranks as you level up and can be swapped out anytime out of combat. Legendary items modify a skill's power, changing its behavior or enhancing its stats. You can only equip one per slot, so be careful when planning your build. Finally, when you obtain a rank 10 legendary gem, legendary items can be awakened, granting additional bonuses that affect your skills. Let's look at the barbarian skills in detail to understand how they work. Lacerate. Launch a series of attacks that deal damage with every hit. Every third hit heals you for some percentage of damage done. Its ultimate is Blood and Rage. Enhance Lacerate for 12 seconds, increasing its healing to 20% of damage done on each attack, increasing its range, and causing every third attack to knock enemies away. You also gain a shield that absorbs damage equal to 20% of your maximum life for 3 seconds. Frenzy. Launch a frenzied attack. Each hit increases Frenzy's attack speed by 8% for 3 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. Its ultimate is Restless Demon. Enhance Frenzy for 12 seconds, allowing movement while attacking and unhindered movement through enemies, granting stun immunity and increasing attack speed as if fully stacked. You also gain a shield that absorbs damage equal to 20% of your maximum life for 3 seconds. Chain Spear. Hurl 3 Chain Spears that deal damage and then return dragging impaled enemies back to you, dealing more damage. Cleave. Unleash a powerful attack that deals damage to all enemies in front of you, causing them to bleed for damage over 3 seconds. Maximum 3 charges. Demoralize. Release a ferocious shout that forces nearby monsters to attack you. Also deals damage to all nearby enemies and reduces their damage done by 30%. Lasts 8 seconds. Furious Charge. Charge forward, knocking away all enemies in your path and dealing damage. Maximum 3 charges. Players may only be affected once every 3 seconds by this skill. Grab. Seize a nearby monster and wield it as a weapon, replacing your primary attack with a swing for damage against all enemies in front of you. Activate again to throw the monster, dealing damage to enemies in the path. Ground Stomp. Stomp the ground, stunning nearby enemies for up to 1.5 seconds and dealing damage. 
Charging longer increases range and duration up to 3 seconds. Hammer of the Ancients. Call forth a massive hammer which smashes enemies in front of you for damage and shakes the earth itself, dealing additional damage over 2 seconds. Leap. Leap to a location, dealing damage to all nearby enemies when you land and reducing their movement speed by 50% for 4 seconds. Each full life enemy struck by leap reduces leap's cooldown by 1 second. Sprint. Increase your movement speed by 50% for 4.5 seconds. While active, you may move unhindered through enemies and you're immune to movement impairing effects. Undying Rage. Enter a rage that prevents you from dying and causes all of your attacks to heal you for 30% of damage done. Undying Rage activates automatically when you take fatal damage. Whirlwind. Become a whirlwind of steel, continually striking all nearby enemies for damage while moving at 70% reduced speed. Using Whirlwind slowly consumes its energy, which recovers while Whirlwind is not in use. Wrath of the Berserker. Enter a Berserker Rage that increases your attack speed by 50% and movement speed by 20% for 6.5 seconds. Let's take a look at every legendary available in the game for Barbarian. This section is for your reference to help you plan out your own builds. Let's begin! Spirit Breaker. Sprint also leaves tornadoes in your path that deal damage to any enemies they strike. Bestial Threat. Demoralize is replaced with a terrifying roar that damages all nearby enemies and immobilizes them. Berserker's Sanity. Wrath of the Berserker now also dispels effects which cause loss of control of your character. Second Breath. Sprint duration increased by 30%. Weighted Brow. Ground Stomp range increased by 20%. Lasting Hate. Wrath of the Berserker duration increased by 30%. Battle Master's Helm. Demoralize is replaced with a war cry that increases all damage you and nearby allies inflict. Hatred Reach. Cleave range increased by 20%. Shocking Chaos. Leap is now electrified, stunning all nearby enemies where you land. The Coming Storm. Wrath of the Berserker cooldown decreased by 15%. Yadama's Cyclone. Whirlwind damage increased by 10%. Hell's Legacy. Sprint also leaves a trail of flames, dealing damage to enemies over 4 seconds. Animal Instinct. Leap can now charge up to increase range and damage. Broken Grasp. Sprint also increases your dodge chance by 20%. Impaler's Breath. Chain Spear now hurls a harpoon that knocks enemies away, damaging and stunning them. Crusher Rig. Chain Spear now hurls giant rocks, inflicting damage on all enemies in its path. Davin's Legacy. Hammer of the Ancients maximum charges increased by 1. Ferocious Gale. Whirlwind occasionally throws out tornadoes that deal damage to any enemies they strike. Crack Fell. Chain Spear now hurls an electrified spear that damages and immobilizes all enemies in its path. Charred Iron. Chain Spear now hurls a flaming spear that damages all nearby enemies in its path and leaves a burning trail. The Gathering. Whirlwind pulls in all enemies it damages. Swift Wing. Sprint now also increases movement speed of nearby allies. Car's Defiance. Leap also grants you a shield that absorbs damage. Rock Spire. Ground Stomp now affects all nearby enemies and can be charged to increase range and damage. Juggernaut's Plan. Sprint now causes you to run continuously, knocking away and damaging enemies in your path. Determination. Furious Charge can now be charged up to increase its range and damage. Howler's Lift. Leap damage increased by 10%. Screaming Fury. Furious Charge now charges to a location, damaging all nearby enemies and knocking them into the air. Also increases maximum charges to 2. Rage Caller. Hammer of the Ancients is now also electrified, slowing enemy movement by 50% for 2 seconds. Spots Reach. Cleave now strikes in a full circle around you. Rending Bite. Lacerate now inflicts bleeding that deals damage over 3 seconds. The Tempest. Whirlwind Radius increased, but Whirlwind Movement Speed decreased. Stonefall. Hammer of the Ancients damage increased by 10%. Selena's Iron. Leap causes the ground to shake wherever you land, dealing damage to all enemies in the area over 3 seconds. The Maddening. Movement speed increased by 15% while Frenzy is at its maximum stacks. Razor Grip. The range and damage of Hammer the Ancients can now be increased by charging it up. Flesh Splitter. Cleave damage increased by 10%. Obin's Many Fingers. Chain Spear hurls two additional spears. The Remembered. Hammer of the Ancients now summons a Spirit of the Ancients, who stuns all nearby enemies and then fights beside you for a while. Virulent Fist. Enemies killed by Cleave will explode, inflicting damage on all other nearby enemies. Broken Soul. Wrath of the Berserker now increases critical hit chance instead of attack speed. Spear Hammer. 
demoralized duration increased by 30%. That's it for this Barbarian Guide for Diablo Immortal Season 1. Are you prepared for DI launch? What's your favorite Barbarian build? Tell me in the comments down below. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!